Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So it's time to start building the top half of our Dutch door for the tiny house. Um, now that the bottom part is installed, I now know that the uh, remainder is uh, 43 inches. So I'm going to build the top part at 42 and a half to give us a uh, room that we need for uh, installing it. So, Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is measure out 42 and a half inches. Okay. And we'll have to have two of these, but I'm gonna pull this out here and then cut it with the circular saw. Now we have to have two of these. Now I just remembered that uh, that 42 and a half is the full um, board or the full door length, but I'm actually gonna use a uh, five and a half uh, board on the end to kind of hold stuff together. And so I need to pull that amount out of uh, these boards here. Now I'm going to rip down uh, this board, which will go on the top and bottom of the whole door. Now I need four seven inch blocks. So this will all make sense here in just a moment. And now I need four six and a half inch blocks. Now I've got one of the seven inch boards and one of the six and a half inch boards, and I need to rip this down uh, to one and three quarter so that it'll fit uh, perfectly in the door. So I'll do that here. All right, here's what we're striving for got uh, these boards here which make an 18 by 24 opening and that's going to be where our front door window is so the next step is to drill holes just like we did with the bottom um, through here and then use those same uh, uh, metal bars here to hold that together real tight um, and then I'll put screws uh, on the bottom and top pieces to hold that into each of these. So let's get started drilling these holes. Well you might notice that I did some steps without you. Um, sorry about that but wanted to get this thing done so I could start working on the inside of the building. Um, just to walk through what I did without you, uh, I took the um, drill and put my holes through um, both sides here and then I took the metal rods, the threaded rods, and stuck those in. Then on uh, the ends here I drilled in with a 3 4 inch bit and put my uh, washer and lock nut onto that threaded screw and um, put wood glue between each of the uh, blocks here and then just cinch this thing down really good. Then took my end pieces and drilled holes and put screws in them to really lock this whole thing together. Now that the frame is done, it's time to install our window. And so this thing is 18 by 24 and it's gonna fit in here. Um, so to install this, the first thing that I need to do is put a bead of caulk around the full outside of this. Um, so I've got this uh, premium indoor outdoor sealant that I'm gonna be using here. So I'm gonna put a generous amount on the inside here. Now, 
now, I'm just going to take the window here and set it into the spot. And it's going to really squish down that sealant. Next, I'm using my drill to put some pilot holes here into my wood. So I can take some screws here and get this thing attached to the frame. Okay, got all the screws in. Now what I'm going to do is use some of this Tyvek tape as some flashing. So let's start at the bottom down here. Eventually all this will be covered anyway, so I won't really be too concerned about it. Um, and I'm also going to be putting some uh, trim around this, of course, to make it look prettier. So this is just kind of an extra waterproofing. Well, I have to apologize for all the critical steps I've missed in this build. Um, it's taken me roughly three weeks to get this front door built. So, um, I just walk through again what I did. So I uh, put primer and paint on the main door and got that done. Then I took these uh, two by six strips, cut them in half, and then ripped them in uh, two slivers. So cut those twice and got these painted and put on. Uh, so I got masking tape around here. But um, then uh, the latch is on and uh, hinges are on. So now it's just time to install this thing. So let's do that now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use a couple pieces of this uh, siding here just to get the uh, right height above the uh, the bottom door here. Then I'm going to use a pencil to mark the location of where the door needs to be in the frame here. So let's see here. Uh, okay. give us plenty of room there for that to swing open. Okay, now I'll pull that back out. So now that I have the outline of where the hinge is supposed to go, I'm just using my razor blade here. Once again, score out the wood. Now we can use the chisel. I've kind of grown to enjoy using the chisel lately. Now I'm going to use a 1 16th bit to uh, put a pilot hole in all these places. Now I do have some long screws here so I'm going to make a, a little bit longer pilot hole for those. Add some extra strength up here. I couldn't do that before because the, it would hit the blocks, but now it's going to wood. Now the moment we've been waiting for, it's time to get this thing put up here. Let's see. So 
So I've got four screws here. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward getting this thing hung up here by myself, but I think we'll manage. All right, I got the hinges on. I have to say it's the nicest looking front door I've ever built. The only one. So um, one problem I'm seeing is uh, where these uh, screws are for the hinge that keeps the top connected to the bottom. Uh, it is bumping up against this piece. So first I'm gonna use the hacksaw and cut these off a little bit and then uh, just drill out just a little hole here for that uh, to fit into. Now, because the door frame is not um, level, it, uh, you can see the screw here uh, flips up. So it fits over it here, but then as it opens, it drops below this lip. Let's see if I can get to this screw here. Okay, now for this place, I think I'm going to lightly chisel out this spot. Enough to get the bolt there to slide in here. Let's see if that does the trick. Yeah, nice. So besides this piece, another small problem is that this door right here has this wide um, top plate on it. And so when it closes, this corner, not even a half inch, um, not even a fourth of an inch probably, um, just slightly rubs whenever it's closed. And so I kind of expect this summer whenever it's uh, swollen, it'll be even worse. So what I'm going to do uh, is just cut slightly down this corner right here. Um, but sadly, the only saw I have is a hacksaw. So <laughs> let's see how well this will cut through here. So I'm just going to take like this little corner right here off. solve that little issue by rounding that corner off. So I'll have to repaint this and repaint here, um, but fits quite nicely in there. Now the last thing for us to do is get our latch inside here to um, have a place to, to go into. So I'm going to take the pencil here and drop that down. And now I'm just going to take a little mark and then we'll use the drill right there. Let's see if this size right here is enough to get this piece in. Let's give it a try. May have to move up to the next size real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's real close. I was hoping to make sure it had as little air or as little wiggle room as possible. But I think I'm gonna have to move up to the next size here. Cause that's just a little too tight. All right, let's make this just a little bit bigger. Now let's see how that does. Oh yeah, right in there. 
Nice and tight. Very pretty. Well, let's take a look at our finished product. So the bottom seems to fit fairly snug. Um, there's a little bit of a gap there. And, uh, over here, real tight. Now, there's a hole here, which will be covered from the outside with uh, some trim boards. And a real nice tight gap in here. Now, not too great up here, but that'll also be covered. Now you can see where the door is square, but the frame is not. So it's kind of some cosmetic issues. And then here as well, it's real loose up here and then gets real tight down here. So then our latch opens this. Ooh, windy outside. There's our nice window. Now I um, just realized that this thing does not have any means of holding itself open. I don't know if maybe it was a slide window or what, but it just falls back down. I have to use a dowel for that, I suppose. Now, um, when this is open here, and this notch is here, let me close this up. Okay. So see how the little bolt is down in here? Now watch, as it swings open, or swings closed, the bolt comes up quite a lot. So just shows just that the door is not square or level. Now I'm going to be putting a, uh, cut this screw down as well and put uh, some trim board here to um, keep this hidden. I wanted to show you the clearance up here between the loft and the door. It got about an inch and a half. It's real close. Well, this concludes the uh, build of our front door. I am really excited. Um, I was pricing front doors, of course, when I started, and uh, to get this right here, I would have had to have probably paid, I don't know, 170 bucks for a solid wooden door, and then planed it down to fit. Uh, then handling stuff would have been just as expensive as this one was. So, uh, 170 bucks versus this door right here has about 60 dollars in it, maybe 65. So, considering that, I think it looks great. Well, I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye. Here is a good example of what we need to clean up. So, just have spilled this whenever I was building, and uh, pretty much just pops off really easy.